15% off your reading newspapers. Because the only truth you know is what you get over this tube. Right now, there is a whole, an entire generation that never knew anything that didn't come out of this tube. on foreign policy issues because uh, they are very important in today's world. And I, I, like many Canadians, I think that we've really kind of lost our way. I think Canada used to play a very important role in the international community and increasingly we've just become sort of a sidekick and a supporting role uh, to U.S. foreign policy. And I hope with the American election that will change. But, but even more reason for Canada uh, to have an independent foreign policy. And in terms of how that plays out in Afghanistan and the Middle East and Pakistan, uh, we certainly do not support a, a, a widening military conflict or a combat mission. Uh, our leader has said very, very categorically, and we've held this position from the very beginning, that we believe that Canada should use its standing as a middle power and work with other middle powers to uh, to change this war on terror and to work within international law to uphold human rights and to work for real human security. Human security does not come through a barrel of a gun. It doesn't come from dropping bombs on civilians. It doesn't co come from military combat. It comes from growing food, distributing wealth, having clean water, making sure that kids can grow up happy and healthy. And that's what Canada's role should be both globally as well as here at home. And if we did that, I'll tell you, we'd be doing something right. Well, I believe our troops are already uh, involved in the situation next door in Afghanistan. And this government has committed to pulling out of Kandahar by 2011. And that's something I agree with as well. No. But in the meanwhile, I believe that our government does have a strong role to play to protect the rights 